Good afternoon everyone, this is Eric, Northwest Bus Sales once again. Thank you for your time checking us out. Here we go, look at this baby right here. 2001 Van Hool C2045. Check it out, 45 foot motor coach. This is a Van Hool C2045, 53 passengers, has an ADA lift in the back. <clears throat> Let's cruise inside and check her out. Now, there we go. Plug style door. I like that. I love that. It's one of my favorite style doors. Kind of reminds me of a crystal coach. They do that as well. Van Hool's got, got a pretty good look. I like this now. This right here is going to be an awesome coach for you. 2001. It's going to be an affordable coach for you. So it's an opportunity to get into a newer, more modern looking coach. Goodness sakes, I better turn down Joe Walsh there. Hold on here. Where's the dog gone? There we go. As much as I like Joe Walsh, I'll tell you what. Anyhow, nice, good opportunity to get into a newer, modern-looking coach. And it's going to be a bit, uh, you know, it's going to be quite affordable, to be honest with you. So here we go. Uh, reclining, uh, or driver's seat right here, as you can tell, it's got some sun fading going on. I'm not seeing any rips or tears. Oh, man, is that Stevie? Oh, Stevie. Stevie Nicks. Oh, anyhow, see, look, I got sidetracked already. Recaro, driver's seat, uh, air ride, Recaro driver's seat, no less, with armrest. Uh, it's got a tilt wheel, uh, driver and passenger heat and AC, a lot of your typical uh, motor coach features. So, Allison B500, uh, six speed, automatic transmission over there. You can see the AC controls over there, cruise control, and what have you as well. Interior convex mirror. Uh, in, oh, check out the destination sign up there. I didn't even notice that from the outside. Doggone, look at the windshields as well. Looking to be in really good shape. Now, it is raining a bit outside, but I'm not seeing any chips or cracks. Looks pretty good. AM, FM radio. It's got a video system, but I got to be honest with you, it's not working right now. So, as I've mentioned in some previous videos, our shop is just backed up with sold buses right now. We're having a heck of a time keep, keeping caught up. So, Anyhow, there might be some, well, there's going to be some shortcomings on these buses, these motor coaches coming through. We're just trying to get them cleaned up and online for you. And uh, we'll be happy to get them all dialed in for you when you've got one picked out and decide which one you want. So, uh, interior passenger seats, it looks like some national seating, uh, high, uh, high back uh, armrest, or pardon me, headrest, armrest, reclining passenger seats, footrest, upholstery, showing some fading. A little bit of use here on the headrest for the high traffic areas, but still not too bad. Check it out. It looks like somebody replaced some seat cushions back here in the back. This is the wheelchair lift area. This will accommodate up to two wheelchairs, 53 passengers. Restroom in the rear. There we go. Oh, yeah. All the passenger glass is looking pretty good as well. Emergency roof hatch up in the rear. Overhead parcel racks. Oh. Looks like Kevin's pulling out a coach right there. He's pulling, digging out one of those E-models. Say hi, there he is. Let's zoom in on him. He doesn't even know he's on camera right now. Look. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Anyways, uh, ooh, man, I got to turn that song up. I just love me. Man, Stevie Nicks. Ooh. Anyways, I'm getting, see, look, I got all derailed again. Anyhow, uh, floor is looking really good. I'm not seeing any uh, any splitting or tearing. All the seams are looking tip top. Pardon the wet footprints. Yeah, I can dig it. These Van Hools have got a great look. I like it a lot. Here we go. I'll check out the air actuated driver's door there. There we go. Mmm. You don't mind if we hang out in here a little bit and just kind of dig on this song a little bit. Yeah. All right, I've probably taken up and up and up of your time. Here we go. Let's cruise back outside. Look at that. I don't know if I pointed out the step treads. Step treads are looking pretty good, you know what? Not too bad. I didn't point out the mileage on this because, to be honest with you, I don't know what the miles is on this, but it, uh, it's something the shop's going to have to run the deck on, and and uh, we'll see if we can figure that out for you. I just do not know. I'm, I'm ashamed to say. Anyhow, let's uh, walk around the outside. We'll get a look at the body. Let's check out the tires as well. Oh, yeah. There we go. Fair amount of rubber right there. 
Check it out underneath a little bit. Also, let's open up the uh, luggage base. Oh, here's the fuel door right here. Let's see, I think it'll say how many fuel, how many gallons meets all FHW requirements for non-side mounted fuel tanks. Well, that's important. I was wondering about that. Manufactured base in uh, France, goodness sakes. Well, those of you that don't know, this is a European coach, Bel uh, Belgium. These da these babies are made in Pel Belgium. Pardon me, I'm getting all tongue-tied here. So, at uh, Eastern European. Uh, oh, I take that back. You know what? I don't think Belgium's in Eastern Europe. Goodness sakes, it's right over there. It's kind of like, well, it's right next to France and kind of in between Germany there, I think. I don't know. People are probably, I'm not, don't got my geography all that good yet so anyhow i'll check out that ding right there got a dent some scratches looks like detail tried to put a little spray paint over it right there anyhow belgium if i'm not mistaken that's where a good portion of the great war world war one happened it's over in belgium over there in flanders field and everything and anyhow look i'm getting all sidetracked again uh check out the under four under four storage compartments right here pass through under four storage compartments looks like we got some kind of seat bracketry going on underneath there i don't know what is going on right there pardon me uh, anyhow uh, as you can tell man this has got a ton of storage let's check out the drive tires here yeah got a nice set of mud and snow on her we can cruise around here underneath we look at them you can't reach a bit there we go oh yeah I'll tell you what, Van Hools are nice coaches. I've, I've actually got a fair amount of seat time behind the wheel of one of these babies. I can dig it. But, like Van Hools, there you go. Good tread there. Not seeing any kind of rust or cancer or anything like that. There's the wheelchair lift right there. Uh, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I gotta shoot you straight. It, uh, I, wheelchair lift's not functioning right now. If that's something that is necessary, we can definitely get her dialed in for you. So don't fret about that. Uh, that won't be a problem. We're just trying to get these babies online. Let's check out the mill. Look at that van hole in Northwest Bus. That's right. Here we go. Look at this. I like this. That's a Cummins M11 inline six cylinder turbo diesel. M11. And I believe they call it that because it's a 10.9 liter, if I'm not mistaken. I like Cummins. I know I harp a. I, I, you know, say a lot about Detroit, one of my favorites as well, but I really like the Cummins. I, I'll tell you what, I got a lot of experience with those. Cummins is a great, outstanding engine. I love it. So anyhow, like I mentioned, uh, me and my brother had the opportunity to take a couple of Van Hools across. Uh, somebody's honking at me over there. Had, a, had an opportunity to take a couple of Van Hools across the country there, and man, and they had the Cummins M11 in it, and it was just an outstanding engine. Didn't miss a beat. Look at that, there goes Levi over there in the red in the red dragon there, red uh, crystal. All right, let's check out the tire tread here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's a nice set of mud and snows right there. Uh, you know, it can stand to have a little more tread there on that tag, but anyhow, uh, body and paint showing its share of shortcomings. Got a lot of dings and scratches and chips here and there, but nonetheless, it's looking all right, as I mentioned. I like these Van Hools. Me and my brother uh, had an opportunity to take them across the country. So that's right, my brother, he works here too. He's family owned and operated. So uh, here we go. I think that'll do it. 2001 Van Hool C2045L. I think it's an L. I'm, I'm fairly certain it's an L. Anyhow. Uh, check us out online, nwbus.com. Please call any questions, 800-231-7099. Thanks. Oh, look at that e-model cruising around. There's Kevin again. Look, he's waving at us. Woo! Kevin, you're on YouTube. All right, man. Anyhow, here we go. I think that'll do it. Give us a call, 800-231-7099. Thanks.